We now return to VH1's Behind the Music, Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. It must have been around 1979 when animals started snorting crushed up pieces of felt. Got pretty ugly. Me had big problem before me found God. He like threw me down and he said, I hope your puppeteer has big hands because I'm not using lube. Me no remember that, but me believe it happened. I got it. Huh, says Glenn Quagmire. But if you squint and imagine it says Peter Griffin, it says Peter Griffin. Peter, it's Quagmire's. Take it next door. And now, hold on, Lois. Now, this poses a very difficult ethical dilemma. Do I deliver the package to its rightful owner, or do I open it up and see if it contains He-Mans? Do not open that box. You know, Lois, physicists believe there are two alternate universes, one in which I don't open the box, and one in which I do. I'm not going to open the box. I'm going to open the box. Ah, oh, sweet, it's a whip! Peter, be careful with that thing. Remember, we're renting this house. That's depressing. Wow, I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! All right, Meg, stay incredibly still. I'm going to whip that cigarette out of your mouth. And maybe not slice your face in half. Dad, I don't want to do this. Stay still! Ah! Okay, that's pretty cool, too. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. Ah, I thought you couldn't understand me! Okay. Ah! I'm doing my very best. Ah! Thanks. That was way too much heat on my neck. 